Welcome to Collins from British Monroe. Today we're going to create this underwater scene card. We're going to be using the new Coral Reef stencil. This is such a nice big full stencil. It's a 6x6 six six, and it's of, the, of a lovely coral reef. With that we're going to be using the Underwater Friends stamps. This stamp has um, three mermaids, three fish, a little hermit crab, a shark, some shells, and some seaweed and we're going to use the stat the sentiment that reads seas a day and we're going to use only the three fish here um from this stamp set and this also has a little bow and four sentiments it's a nice big set of 17 piece stamp set there are coordinating dies for this set and we're going to use those as well um you would get yours in your British Monroe packaging. I'm on the design team, so I got mine without the official package. We're going to be using some glitter glaze in Emma's pink and in uh, tangerine. And you can see it's this beautiful, nice, rich colors. Um, I have my palette knife, our stick and stamp mat, and I went ahead and stamped and colored our little fishes and die cut them. I use some Copic markers and I'll have those listed for you in the description box below. Today we're going to create a, a square card. We're going to create a 6x6 six six card. I have a um, Match Mama's card stock here and <clears throat> I've folded it down for us here. Um, I have some layering card stock in navy here. Well, it's actually like a medium, a medium bowl, it's not really navy, but you get the idea. I have some blue layering cardstock and then this real pale, pale blue cardstock that we'll be using to uh, stencil on. That'll be our front panel. So, and I also have a strip of Nacho Mama's cardstock uh, for our sentiment. So, now that we've went over everything that we're going to be using, um, let's get started. I'm going to take the protective layer off my stick and stamp mat and I'm going to place our pale blue um, cardstock on here and this cardstock is five and three quarters by five and three quarters so I'm going to place down my coral reef um, stencil and the stick and stamp mat will hold it in place as well as my paper and I'm going to start off with the tan tangerine uh, glitter glaze <clears throat> I also I'm going to grab a quick paper towel here just to wipe uh, my stencil brush in between colors. So all of our glazes, whether it's glitter glaze, chroma glaze, all come with a protective little uh, cap inside once you remove the lid. Please keep that It'll and replace it after each use. That'll keep your glaze nice and fresh. It, keep, it prevents it from drying out. All right, so I'm going to start with the uh, tangerine. Like I said, I just flip my panel uh, my little work mat <clears throat> upside down. I just find that pulling the glaze towards myself is easier than, of course, pulling it away from myself. Alright, so see, I'm going to put my little protective layer back in the cap, and that'll keep my glaze nice and fresh and ready for further use, future use, I should say. Okay, so here's Emma's pink. We're going to give that a quick stir. I like to stir it up just in case. And I'm going to now pull it back, back around here so I can, like I said, pull towards me. It just helps me get a nice even coverage. And I'm going to try my best to get these two blended. So I first get the pink on there and then I'll blend between the two colors of the pink and the tangerine. Right now it looks very distinct, but as I keep blending and I um, allow this to dry, it does blend between the two colors. I'm going to keep working this until I have it all how I would like it. There we go. And then any of my extra, I'm going to just spread any extra um, glitter glazes on here on my on my mat, on my stick and stamp mat, onto a, a scrap piece of cardstock that I have on my desk over here. I like to do that and then I'll just let that dry and it's, it's perfect for die cutting sentiments or shapes out of. So I like to Instead of wasting all this wonderful glaze, just save it. Scrape it onto another piece of paper, another piece of cardstock, and you can create other things with it. 
So I'm going to gently remove my stencil. I'm going to set that to the side for a second. And then I'm going to wipe any extra glitter glaze off my stick and stamp mat so I can remove my panel. So get this all cleaned up. And then I can gently bend my mat and <clears throat> my panel will pop off nice and easy. Now I'm going to set that to the side to dry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to spread any of my extra glitter here. I'll set this little panel to dry for anything else I want to use it for. So before we can continue, I'm going to clean off my stick and stamp mat and my stencil. I'm going to spray it with the stick and stamp cleaner. Uh, for my stencil, I just do that really quick. I don't want it to dry. I like to continue working and so instead of running to the sink to wash it off, I just spray it with a little stick and stamp cleaner. It removes the excess glitter glaze or chroma glaze, whichever I'm using. And then once I'm done with my project, I go and wash um, the running water in the sink. So it just, just takes off the initial, so I don't have to just quickly run and do all the cleanup. I also cleaned my work surface. All right, so our panel is now dry. Our, as you can see, our coral reef is looking beautiful there. I'm going to use a little barrier glue to adhere our stencil panel onto our layering cardstock. <clears throat> Again, I'm making a six by six uh, card. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my top panel onto our layering cardstock, and then that will be placed onto our card base. And I just flip this on to use a paper towel or actually it's a scrap piece of paper to um, press this into place. My mat is still a little sticky dirty and I didn't want anything transferring. <clears throat> okay so I'm going to add a little adhesive to this. Adhere this to my card mm, my card base. And now we can continue working on our card. I'm going to bring in our three little fish and I'm just going to place them diagonal from uh, top right to bottom left. <clears throat> Since they're all facing the similar way, in the similar direction, I figured that'd be a nice way to get that nice balance. I'm putting my yellow, my bright yellow fish in the center and the two bluer tone fish uh, top and bottom. Um, one is uh, aqua with purple, one is blue with yellows and oranges, and then the center one is an orange and yellow fish. I just wanted some nice vibrant colors here. Once I get that nice last little fish down, we can work on our sentiment. So I'm going to bring in some uh, sequins here eh, before we work on our sentiment. I have some sequins here. These are from the April's uh, Inspiration Box sequins. And I'm, there's some like greens and purples and uh, like aqua colors in there. It's just a really nice mix. We're going to use that. Alright, so I brought in that little scrap of Not Your Mama's cardstock, and I'm going to stamp our sentiment, which reads, Seize the Day. And then I'm going to trim that, and I'm going to mat it on some more scrap uh, dark blue cardstock here that I have, just so that it pops off our card front. So just going to trim this down. Give it a, I'm using my mini Fisker tr uh, trimmer here. Just going to go ahead and trim off any of the excess that I don't need. And then I will fishtail these, this sentiment ban into a set. <clears throat> this sentiment banner, I'm going to fishtail it. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. I just rambled on there. Alright, so I quickly do that. I'm going to grab our blue card stack here in a moment. Just trying to get this nice and even. Here's my dark blue card stock to match our card. Uh, the layering cardstock on our card. I'm going to it use a little barely art glue to adhere this our sentiment onto that and then I'll trim it down. And I will fishtail once again this blue cardstock. So it just looks nice and cohesive. Just trying to get this nice and even. Once I have that the sides even, like I said I will uh, fishtail blue card stock. Then I'll use some foam adhesive to adhere this to our card base. So I'm going to move my trimmer and any excess paper off my area so I can bring in my card. I'm going to use a foam adhesive strip here 
and I'm going to place that on the back of our sentiment and we're going to adhere this to the top left hand corner of our card I'm just going to get this on here really quickly and this stencil is such a beautiful stencil um, it's part of the uh, stencil of the month and it could also well now you can purchase it on its own on if you want to join the stencil of the month or the inspiration box of the month it's each month we have a beautiful new um, theme and this month's theme was all underwater and it has beautiful beautiful stencils and stamps and dies so I'm gonna go ahead and add our finishing touches of some um, sequins I pulled out mostly the aqua ones here the, the tealy aqua ones and I'm going to put a cluster of three by the sentiment, a cluster of three on the bottom right hand corner, and then one above each of the little fish, nice tiny little one, so it almost mimics a bubble. And that'll finish our card. It also adds a nice um, movement to our card, these sequins. It just adds another different texture to this. So we have quite a few layers going on here. We have our layering cardstock, our card panel that we did our stenciling on with the glitter glaze which adds a wonderful texture and then um, our little fish are adhered with some foam adhesive so they get some they have some dimension as well as our sentiment and now these little sequins just adds an extra movement okay let's get this last one on here and our card is complete so I'm show you by moving in front of the light here you can catch more of that glitter blaze it's so beautiful and it has a nice transition from this darker orangey to a beautiful pink so again we use the underwater friends stamps and dyes we use the coral reef stencil Emma's pink glitter glaze and glitter glaze in tangerine our uh, raven detail ink and I'll have everything for you in the description box below. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration.